BLM protest over an out-of-control nine-year-old girl getting pepper sprayed gets kind of violent in Rochester, New York. And Antifa so-called homeless rights agitators had an armed takeover of a hotel in Olympia, Washington. This is the end of hour two of the Jesse Lee Peterson Show. It is February 2nd, 2021, Tuesday. After the Jason Lee Peterson show, catch the Hake Report, thehakereport.com slash show. It's a crazy attack on cops. BLM protest in Rochester, New York. It turned violent. Big surprise, right? It was probably 93% peaceful, though. Revolver News and Brendan Gutenschwager shared video on Twitter. The backstory, according to Breitbart, a nine-year-old girl was pepper sprayed by police last week. An officer used handcuffs and an irritant on the minor who reportedly threatened to harm herself, according to RochesterFirst.com. A custodial parent, whatever that means, custodial parent, called the police and reported that she intended to cause self-harm to herself and others. I guess the nine-year-old girl did. She then fled the residence. Responding officers chased the girl down and handcuffed her when she refused to cooperate. When she would not put her feet in the police car, you know how how they don't cooperate? One of the officers sprayed her with the irritant, according to local news. The girl became agitated when she saw her custodial parent, according to officials, and this caused the minor to pull away and kick at officers, which required an officer to take the minor down to the ground. A nine-year-old girl. The protest Monday afternoon... They began marching in the streets in response. So ridiculous. The mother was there, one protester told a Rochester news station. In this incident, there was no reason for the police officer to be so rough with this child. We're here because we want change. We want our police officers to stop abusing our babies. (laughs) The protesters became more aggressive and began began moving and overturning police barricades in an attempt to approach the station. Insurrection, sedition, terrorism, right? After breaking through the barricade, the protests assembled along the parking lot fence and began shouting at cops. You just maced a little kid, the protesters shouted. Calm down, right? Armed Antifa occupied a hotel in Olympia, Washington, meanwhile. SWAT teams had to pull them out. According to Revolver and freelance reporter Shauna Sowersby on Twitter, Revolver and the Olympia... Washington City statement report that it was the Red Lion Hotel up there, a group identified as Oli Housing Now, a homeless activist group, right? Employees of the hotel were safely escorted out of the occupied building after sheltering in the basement throughout the afternoon and into part of the evening. About 11 a.m., people inside the Red Lion began calling 911 to report a group was attempting to forcibly take over this hotel. OPD occupied... I mean, uh, Olympia Police Department received reports that employees felt under threat from the group. An employee was allegedly assaulted. Employees reported that some members of the activist group inside the hotel were armed with items like hatchets, batons, knives, and held gas masks, helmets, and goggles, apparently in preparation for a confrontation. OPD estimated about 45 members of this group, homeless activist Antifa group, Inside and outside of the hotel. At the time of the occupation of 40 rooms in the hotel were booked with guests who were just bystanders at this incident. They sheltered inside their rooms during the occupation. Ridiculous, huh? OPD is providing safe place for them and the hotel is out as the hotel is cleared, they said. (laughs) Before the occupation, the activist group had earlier reserved 17 rooms occupied by unhoused individuals, meaning homeless bums. As the occupation occurred, as they cleared the hotel, they were connecting the unhoused people to other services and would not be allowed back into the hotel. They anticipated there would be some arrests in association with the occupation. I hope so, right? Making sure our unhoused residents have access to safe unhoused residents, right? Meaning homeless people. Safe and affordable housing has been Olympia's priority for more than a decade, said the female mayor, Cheryl Selby. Olympia has led on responding to homelessness, on coordinating shelter and basic needs. The tactics by Oli Housing now are unproductive. I am James Haig. Now on to Jesse, Hour 3.